Hello everyone and welcome to the Sky Channel. Now in this video we're going to be talking about the legend of mushroom and essentially we're going to talk about how to grow your account much faster and that is by relying on the rush events. Now every day you get a certain amount of items that includes diamonds, relics, soul shards, balance skill tickets and a bunch of other things. And every week you have a certain number of rush events and each week they're going to be different rush events. So the strategy for you to get much stronger, much faster is to collect and save those items that you get and only use them at the right moment of time. And that is during the rush event. That enables you to get a lot of amazing rewards that you would otherwise be skipping if you were just simply using all of those items at once. And in this video, we're going to go over each of those rush events and tell you what you can get from those rush events and how much of each item you should be saving in order to get the best rewards for each of them. We'll also talk about the value of those awards because not all rush events give you the best prizes. There are certain rush events that are more valuable than the others. So let's get started. First of all, you can see that there are two rush events that are open and that's perfect because both of them fall into different category of rush events. And I consider two different categories. One of them gives you hammers and hammers are extremely valuable resources because it's used to upgrade your artifact. In our diamond video, we covered how important the hammers are and how the upgrades from the hammers can give you amazing boosts in your power, which is definitely very important. So rush events that give you hammers are very, very helpful and you should try to save up for them so you can at least clear one round and get those hammers if nothing else. Because the interim rewards are just diamonds and speed ups so it doesn't make a lot of sense unless you can clear out one round. Now the other type of rush event gives you 10,000 relic shards. Now relic shards are definitely helpful as well but nowhere close to the hammers right hammers are so hard to get relics you can get them very easily from the dungeon each day right so 10,000 relic shards are not really a game changer so when it comes to rush events the ones that give hammers are much more valuable in my opinion than the ones that give you relic shards okay Let's start talking about the interim rewards. Now you do get certain rewards of diamonds and speed ups every time you complete part of each round. And of course there are seven parts in total, giving you 150 diamonds and five speed ups each time. In other words, each round will also give you an additional 1250 diamonds and 55 speed ups. And that remains constant regardless of the rush event. So the main difference comes in the fact that some of them are going to give you relic shards and some of them are going to give you hammers. Okay, so what we're going to do next is that we are going to go over each of those rush events that we have and hopefully those rush events are going to repeat over time and we will talk about how much you need to save for each round and how much you need to save in total to get all of those prizes. And of course, as you can see up here, there are four rounds in total and that remains the same in each rush event. So they're always going to be four rounds. So we'll talk about each of them, which item you should be stocking up on and how many items you should be saving to clear all four rounds. Let's start with my personal favorite and that is the Mount Rush event. You might have seen the other diamond video where we actually go through it. The Mount Rush event is very interesting because upgrading the mount gives you amazing boosts in power, especially if you're able to upgrade the tier. Now that is where you get the huge jumps in power and you also get extra evasion along with it. So to complete one round of Mount Rush, you need 800 Clockwinders. Now Clockwinders are always available from the shop. If you go to the supply store, you scroll down, you'll notice that each Clockwinder costs about 35 diamonds. So to get 800 Clockwinders, you would need 28,000 diamonds. Of course, you don't want to stop at one round. You want to do four rounds in total and therefore you will need 112,000 diamonds saved up so that you can max out the Mount Rush event. That will give you 8,000 hammers, 5,000 diamonds and 220 speed ups in total. 
definitely worth it if you ask me because those 8000 hammers are going to upgrade your artifact by a lot not to mention the fact that you already would have upgraded the mount by a lot because 3200 clockwinders is a lot okay next up let's go to the tech rush and essentially the tech rush is all about ores you need to collect ores so you can start upgrading stuff in the tech park now the tech park itself also gives you amazing bonuses in defense, attack, and health, and that can take you really far. Now tech rush also gives you 2000 hammers per round, making it one of the valuable rushes that you should definitely be stocking up for. You should probably also try to stock up a certain amount of speed ups for this event, because imagine having a lot of ore, but not having enough speed ups to use that ore. So as a good practice, I'd recommend having some speed ups just in case having that sort of a backup can be particularly helpful for you so that you don't end up using diamonds instead of speed ups. So this event isn't particularly cheap. You need to spend 120,000 ores to get through one round, which means in total, you are going to need 480,000 ore to get all four rounds. The rewards are exactly the same as the Mount Rush. Next, let's go to the Relic Rush. And the Relic Rush is the one that I showed you a little bit earlier at the start of the video. Essentially, you are supposed to be using your relics that you might have saved up and either enhance your current relics or search for new ones. Both of them uses your Relic Shards and anytime you use Relic Shards, you are contributing to the Relic Rush event. Now again, this isn't a particularly cheap event. You need to have saved up 225,000 relics per round. And of course, since you want to get through four rounds, you're going to need 900,000 relics saved up if you are to complete all four rounds and get those 8,000 hammers. Okay, next up, the Soul Rush event. And the Soul Rush is going to be the last of the events that actually give hammers. So the soul rush is all about using your soul essences. Now when you go into your soul embed page, you'll see a bunch of different souls. You can salvage some of them to get soul essences, and then you can use those soul essences to level up other souls and of course gain points for the soul rush event. Now I'll tell you, I did try something interesting. I used the soul essences to level up the souls and then I salvaged them to get all the soul essences back and then tried to use those soul essences to upgrade other souls, thinking that I could get an infinite supply of soul essences and get up to four rounds of that event. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. Essentially, you can't just keep leveling up your soul and then salvaging it and using that soul essence to upgrade another one it doesn't work like that that being said of course you can salvage all of your souls and you of course going to get a certain amount of soul essence and then you can use that to upgrade a soul that counts because that way you're only using it once but if you've already used that soul essence to upgrade another one of your souls salvaging it getting that soul essence back and then upgrading a different soul doesn't necessarily count towards the soul rush if that doesn't make sense, don't worry. You just need to have enough soul essences saved up to complete that event. So when we talk about how much you need, you need 5,000 soul essences per round. And given there are four rounds, you need 20,000 soul essences to max out all four. The rewards, of course, being 2,000 hammers per round. And of course, there are four rounds in total, so 8,000 hammers. Okay, that covers the four rush events that actually give you hammers. And in my opinion, they're the four that are the most valuable. Do note that pretty much all of these are one week long, other than the Mount Rush event, which is only two days long. Another thing to note is that let's say you have completed a round and you simply just don't have enough items to complete the next round. Is it still good to just use those items and get the, one of those interim prizes, which is essentially the 150 diamonds and five speed ups? In my opinion, no you'd rather save those items for the next rush event so that you can try to complete more rounds next time. Perhaps the fact that you saved it this time means that the next time you'll be able to complete two rounds instead of one. So if you can't complete the full round, it's best to just save your items for the next one. That's my personal opinion. I think it makes more sense that way.
Okay, moving on to the less valuable rush events because they only give you relic shards. Now, relic shards are useful. And as I mentioned before, you do need a lot of relics to complete the relic rush. So in a way, it does contribute towards the relic rush event, but more like indirectly, right? The others are directly giving you hammers. This is indirectly giving you hammers and it doesn't seem to be giving you enough relic shards to really feel like you're getting the best bang for your buck. And there are three of them. There's the pal rush, where you essentially use your pal tickets. And there's the one where you use your skill tickets. And then there's the one where you use the fruits to get them. And I personally feel like especially the ones that use the pal tickets and the skill tickets are particularly expensive. You need to get 2000 draws to get 10,000 relic shots. Now, it does take a lot of time for you to save up 2000 skill draws. And the fact that you're just getting 10,000 relic shots, which you get much more than that each day, doesn't seem like you're getting the best value of your money. But anyhow, you need to save up 8000 skill tickets and 8000 pal tickets to max out each of those events and get 40,000 relic shards each. And of course, when it comes to the fruits, you need 25,500 fruit per round and therefore 102,000 fruits in total for you to get 40,000 relic shards. The diamonds and the speed ups are exactly the same as they were in the other rush events. Okay, so summing it all up, saving these items for the right event seems to be the best way forward because you do get a lot more rewards that you otherwise would not have, particularly the hammers that you get in the first four rush events that I mentioned, and that is the Mount Rush, Tech Rush, Relic Rush, and Soul Rush events, gives you a major boost in power, and hammers are extremely valuable resources that are hard to get, so this is your best way to get those hammers and make huge jumps in your power. My personal favorite is the Mount Rush event because the Mount upgrades themselves give you huge jumps in power and to add to that you get the artifact upgrades which is another huge jump in power. Then there are the less valuable ones and for that you should be saving up pal tickets, skill tickets and fruits. And since I still have you here, I want you to know that you can get between 10 to 35% bonuses on in-game purchases. That means that every time you purchase something worth $100, you can get between 10 to $35 credit that you can then use to buy additional packs. Imagine the savings that you can make with that sort of a deal. All you need to do is follow the steps that I have in the video that I'm sharing in the description below, and you'll be able to avail these bonuses. If you're interested in having a longer conversation about this before deciding to switch, feel free to join Discord or, you know, watch the video because that covers this whole thing in quite detail. Looking forward to seeing you on Discord. Before I end, I do want to mention that there was also a level rush event. Now that one was essentially requiring you to upgrade your power in order to get certain rewards. Now there isn't a certain item for you to save for you to really jump up in power, right? Because the items, for example, the clock winders and the hammers are the ones that give you a huge jump in power, but the clock winders have their own event. The hammers you could potentially save for level rush, but there's also a good chance that there might not be another level rush, unless of course they adjust the way they do things, which is of course possible. I guess we're gonna find our way soon if they will continue with the level rush. And if that's the case, then perhaps it makes sense for us to save our hammers for the level rush event. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like. Please comment below on how many of each of these resources you've saved up. And also subscribe to our channel because that would be something I'd appreciate a lot. Feel free to check out our channel for other content. I did start creating content on Legend of Mushroom recently. So if you're interested in seeing more, do let me know. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.